Hello everyone, it's me, John Doe, right here in Tokyo, Japan, with another edition of the Ghost Letters Report. When someone asked, hey, would you like to go clean up some massive nuclear radiation at a massive decontamination area? There come as no surprise that many people would say, no, no thank you. And that has been the case here in Japan with the ongoing efforts to attempt to clean up all the massive contamination here in Japan that went on due to the Fukushima nuclear meltdowns. As this effort continues on, on to be ongoing, they're finding an extreme lack of labor shortages for this kind of work, as you can imagine. So many people find themselves wondering who exactly is up there at Fukushima doing all this very dangerous work. Well, the people who are often doing that work, unfortunately, are the homeless here in Japan. The most, the most marginalized group, the group that is the most helpless and the most desperate for any type of work at all, are the ones who clearly are being targeted here in Japan now for this kind of work. And what makes it even more tragic is that the contractors and the so-called recruiters who are getting these homeless to do this work are Yakuza-affiliated. Yakuza, of course, the Japanese Mafia. And they're the ones rounding up homeless people and taking them up to Fukushima, paying them minimum wage, which can be sometimes as low as 400 to 500 yen an hour, which you cannot survive off that, of course, and giving almost no training at all, very little over the basics, um, undoubtedly giving no information on safety, um, improper equipment, all these things going on, all for try to get labor the cheapest value they can, for work that requires people who are knowledgeable about this kind of work, people who need to be skilled and have experience in decontamination work. Those people are non-existent. Instead, the, like I said, the most marginalized group is basically attacked here and forced to work under these conditions because the homeless are the one group who you could easily coerce into doing almost anything for some money so they can buy at least something to eat or survive in this world. Now it's come out recently that several companies have been caught doing this which is a bit of a bright note. It says here in this article that I have there's many articles on it but the one I'm looking at is coming from Reuters. It says that in January, October, November of last year Several mafia groups were arrested on charges of infil infiltrating, excuse me, assisting construction giant Obayashi Corporation's network of decontamination subcontractors and illegally sending workers to the government funded project. Now, I find that to be interesting that they're saying, you know, it's a big deal. Because it's government funded. As if somehow if it was done privately. You know this is all coming from private money. It wouldn't be that bad. No. It really doesn't matter. Where the money's coming from. What matters is. These workers. Are being extremely abused. Exploited. And to put it in the plain terms. Straight up being taken advantage of. 
and not much is being done about it aside from a few arrests. Now one of the major problems cited for getting this under control is the sheer mass amount of companies involved in this. It seems that Reuters was able to find that over 700 companies are involved in the decontamination effort. Uh, I believe the exact number here is 733 companies were performing work uh, for the environment, the Ministry of Environment here. And lots of times how this works is that you have these large contractors who are supposed to be responsible for recruiting workers, training them, giving them proper safety, and actually carrying out the work and managing the workers are the ones not exactly doing all this. It's these Yakuza-affiliated, highly illegal subcontract they call recruiters. They're the ones actually getting the labor from the homeless pool, actually managing them, and doing most of the uh, work needed but to put these workers at the sites. This is beyond illegal in Japan. It's an extremely violation of labor law. You cannot have a situation where the people who hire the worker are not the people particularly managing the worker. It's a fine gray area, but the distinction of it is quite clear here in Japan. And this is going on, and you see what it creates. Substandard labor who don't know how to properly do these things and are put in this situation where they're forced to because they're so marginalized and so desperate to have anything that oftentimes they're willing to take on work like this. Now, what could be the solution to this? Well, of course, you have to get in there and stop this practice. They say it's hard because there's so many companies involved. Well, that shows incompetence. And in this type of situation with Fukushima, any work involved in it, incompetence simply cannot be justified or allowed. But this, keep, this keeps happening. So you get in there and you tell these companies, no, you don't do it this way. Willing to f Be willing to face the corruption. And then you get proper training involved. You get the proper skilled labor who needs to be up there doing these things. Now, I know it's dangerous work, and it's hard to convince anyone. But, it, you know, it makes it more difficult to convince anyone when you have things like this going on. When workers and labor are skilled, know that this is a situation up there, that training's poor, safety standards are very lax, you have Yakuza involved. They're not going to want to get involved because you're already putting your life at risk to do this type of work. It just gets worse and worse as you see people taken advantage of like this. It's To say it's unacceptable is stating it lightly. So all of us should know that those brave workers up there at Fukushima are actually the homeless being exploited and taken advantage of by organized crime, TEPCO, and even the government itself for, not, for allowing this to happen and not being more vigilant. But this all comes back, you know, to the profit motive. Why would they hire the most marginalized, most easily exploited group to do this highly dangerous work? It's money. It's all about money. And trying to get the most profit they can out of any situation, even a situation like this. You can see they're trying to cut corners of labor. Trying to, you know, not even attempt to uphold what you may call safety standards for a situation like this. All for the grand scheme of trying to make profit off these workers. And it's disgusting. And it should be at least considered completely unacceptable. I want to thank you very much for watching this video. If it's the first time you see me, please subscribe. There should be a little link down here somewhere for you. Until next time, this is me, John Doe, in Tokyo. Checking out.